Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are having a good day and this is a good day because I'm showing to you one of the most versatile plays right now that will beat pretty much every coach that your opponent might be throwing at you. Promise you you're gonna like this play because it's so simple yet it just destroys the two most common coverages in Madden right now. Cover for a match and cover three drop. Now if this is your first time watching any of my videos, I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. It would support me so much. Leave a like on this video if this is helpful to you guys and yeah, let's just get into it. Now the play that I'm talking about is out of the Gun Doubles HP Week formation which is in the Packers playbook, which is in the Falcons playbook and is also in the Titans offensive playbook. Now the play that we're looking at is Shake HP Corner. This is so 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 cool because this beats so many coverages it beats cover four and cover three and also some things get open against cover two and also get against main coverage that's those still things are still gonna be there but i primarily use this to beat cover four and cover three so let's talk about it let's call the play and let's come on the cover four show two on defense now if you look at this play, the thing, thing that immediately stands out to you is the halfback corner route. And we're going to utilize this to beat cover for match. We're going to put Cobb in an out route. We're going to put Tanya on the lay fade. And we're going to drag El Nazard. Now this drag, it does not look like it's that important to play. But that actually make, is the reason why this entire play works. So I'm going to snap this ball right now. And if I get just enough time, you will see how I can throw it up the field. And you will say, hey, there's somebody there, I don't know, I don't know if that's open. I'll go into replay and show you guys that it was absolutely wide open. The thing that I regard as being open is a zone not covering a guy that is actually supposed to cover. So, if we look at this, I only want to look at this guy right here that I've got highlighted right here. I'm going to snap this ball, and you will see how he's got a decision to make. He's got to either cover the outside, which is also open because zones are just terrible this year. Didn't react at all, pretty much. Always got to cover the running back. Now, as we can see, he makes the choice to follow number 18. Even though it doesn't look that open, the running back, the longer we wait, the more open he's going to get. And you see that I realized this, so I, snap, I throw this ball. He does not pay any attention to the running back, so that's why this works so well. Now, the reason why we need the drag... Oh, my bad. I actually pressed the wrong button. <laughs> my bad, you guys. Uh, the reason why we need the drag right here on this receiver... Oh, I love the hair, by the way. Uh... It's because when we snap this ball, you see how he's kind of he's kind of following him. It's kind of like his responsibility to cover that guy. But because we've got the drag there, that's the guy he actually pays attention to. So that's the reason why the running back is open. We'll show this one more time just to really hammer this point home that this destroys cover form match. Gonna snap this ball, drag comes in, and you see this is just wide open. I must say the angle of this route is not ideal. It goes a little bit too much to the sideline for my in my opinion. But if you can pass lead up the field, you will still get a ton of yards off of this. The number one thing that we're going to look at when it comes to beating cover 3 is going to be the halfback corner route and the post route coming over the middle. Now we're going to make do a very simple setup. We're just going to delay fade the tight end. And the reason why I want to do that is because a lot of people uh, like to set up this split out of the 3-5 three, three, wide. They do this and then they QB contain. Very cool. This does not get home against the block tight end. So that's why I want to always block that guy and make sure that this blitz does not come in. So we're going to delay fit the tight end. We're going to keep the running back on his route. We're going to put Cobb on a streak. And we're going to put Alan Lazard on a drag. Now while this post route does look cool from Alan Lazard, the skinny post, it's sadly only good against cover 2 and cover. A lot of people don't run cover 2. So this is the setup that I go for. Going to snap this ball. And we have got two reads. First of all, the drag is open across the middle of the field. That's just a simple read. We're going to stretch the user thin. He has to react to a lot of routes. So we're going to do this again. Oh, that's actually the wrong guy. That was just motion there. My bad, you guys. But we're going to click onto Metal Cobb. We're going to motion him across the formation. We're going to put drag there. And we're going to snap this ball. Okay, cool. And if I get enough time, if I can wait right until now, you can see how this crosser it just gets open. This is just a very deep crossing route. I like it because it's from a very obscure place. You don't expect a deep crossing route to come from the outside wide receiver. So I'm going to do this setup one more time. And if I actually get hard flats, now this is where this gets really interesting. I'm going to snap this ball and you will see how I can throw this to the running back. Yeah, that's, all, that's also there. Not a lot of people run hard flats, but a lot of people run five yard curl flats so against five yard curl flats the tight uh, the tight end the running back is going to be open and it's going to be a nice completion for you now one more time going to run this setup and it's just about making the correct read as you might say well duh but the reads are also very simple during this play you also have the tight end that you can reduce by the way 
The spacing is so nice in this that it's difficult to use with it all. And with how bad zones are, you're almost guaranteed to get some something open. And even though I just said that this beats Tampa 2, and you guys probably know that the post, like the one from Lazard, beat Tampa 2. What I do to beat Tampa 2 is very, very simple. I just put Adams on a comeback route. I actually like that wheel route from... Uh, from Tanya, it's quick, quick flat route. I put Cobb on a slant, and the running back, I want to block him because he's just getting in the way of the comeback route. But yeah, so I'm gonna snap this ball. Oh my god, I'm just getting absolutely destroyed right now with the sheds. Let's try that again. I'll actually block these guys because they are gonna be annoying me otherwise. Yeah, so let's do this. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna block the running back, and you will see if I get enough time and this guy does not get bumped for an eternity over there. You see. Yeah, we can get that open. That's a possession catch. That was even a terrible pass lead. If you pass lead that to the middle of the field, that's even more open. So let's try that again. I'm sorry. I, I, I really think I should do this properly. This really needs to. I want to hammer this point home. This really is important. Snap this ball. Very, very cool. I'm just going to wait. Get enough time. And you can see. Boom. Absolutely wide open. It's not much that your opponent can do to stop that out of recovery too. They can put. Listen. Here's what they can do. They put, they can, okay, no, I'm gonna, so temper two. They can put that guy in a deep zone, and then all I'm gonna do is as soon as I see that guy being in a deep zone, oh, okay, you're dropping back. Then I'm gonna throw this on you. Oh my god, that that looks horrible. That looked horrible. But yeah, put that guy in a deep zone, and everything else becomes open. Also, let's just say that they guess wrong. Uh, they put, they run temper two. Put that guy in a deep zone. Now this play is really going to work. Because we can throw this uh, ball to Adams even earlier. So I'm going to snap this ball right here. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. And I can just throw that. He's just going to break back and I can throw that ball even earlier. So, a lot to love about this play. Especially that it beats cover 4 match. Because I know you guys. You're struggling with cover 4 match just as much as I am. This play is going to take care of it. Once again, gun doubles HP week. Titans, Falcons, and the Green Bay Packers. It's a great play. You guys should definitely put it into your game plan. Speaking of game plans, I'm happy to announce that I'm just about ready to release the Gun Bunch Offset ebook on my guy J Tips' side. Now, if you guys don't know who J Tips is, he's a Madden YouTuber. He posts great tips. He's also getting into the gameplay business. He's a great YouTuber, great fan. Talk to him a lot. Uh, and he's got a site, and I put it, I'll put my ebook up over there. It's great content. It's about the best ebook that I ever put out. If you guys know anything about me, I don't say that lightly. I put a lot of effort into all the content that I upload to this channel, and. It, I don't, yeah, I'm gonna say it. This is the best piece of work that I've ever made. And it's not even close. This really is near and dear to my heart. If you guys need any help with scoring the ball, I don't think you can get stopped on this. I think this ebook alone will get you 18 wins in Weekend League easy. Easy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make that statement. Just go into practice mode. Try the status out a couple of times. Make sure you memorize them. Make sure to get the reads down. And you're gonna have a lot of success. Also, I'm trolling. You don't even need to remember the setups. In that ebook, there is a play call sheet with every single setup written down in a game plan format. You can look, okay, my opponent is running cover four. There's a cover four match section on there, beating cover four match. There's a cover two section over there, how do I beat cover two, and so on and so forth. For short yardage, for the red zone, all of this stuff is breaking down. This is indeed the best thing that I've ever made. Hope you guys are gonna go over there, gonna cop that stuff. It's great. Till next time, goodbye, guys. I'm sorry. I sound like a sell. I'm just going to end the video now, but I appreciate the support so much. And yeah, till next time. Goodbye, guys. I love you all so much.